what we are going to be seeing right now for the next five minutes is a popular attack called the axfr attack or dns zone poisoning or zone transfer attack what is it dns zone transfer right okay now before we get into dns zone transfer attack let us understand what is dns dns na na what will do computers communicate one computer to another computer to communicate using ip address yeah can i remember all ip address no i can't even remember your phone numbers right so what i do a abdin put i'll save his name b his name c his name d his name yes or no so for every person's name i will associate the phone number and store it in my phone book yes or no which is possible yes or no okay this is called the phone book or the contacts that you have in your mobile device same thing a dns server what it will do is it will have a uh, database of ip address and the associated domain name right so what i do is i'm opening command prompt yeah here i'm saying ping right it is giving me a result with this ip address right if you check the same thing after two days it won't show the same ip address for google now what i do i paste this ip address and say enter what happens it goes to what does that mean it means that the ip address is mapped to that name i am going to the ip address it's automatically pushing us to the name yes or no any questions here this is called the dns okay now what i'm going to do is <coughs> i'll also make use of the board here i'm going to use it on a website called the popular website called the iitm website it's not a hack per se so don't worry and okay now iit has a very big network okay we are are we inside iit or outside iit okay. we are here right this is internet correct let me tell you here there there will be hundreds of computers inside yes or no there are two things one is private ip public ip yes or no private ip na na what is private ip private ip is used to communicate within a lan public ip on the other hand is used to communicate on the internet yes or no please so private ip is for lan public ip is for wan wan or internet you understand now the thing here is there has to be one computer here which is called the dns server which is called the dns, DNS server what will dns server do first when i say ping google.com i did right yes or no here what will happen is my computer first it will go and check a particular file in the local system you know that first step it will go and check a file in the local system called the dns local resolver i have notepad this notepad is running on what privilege admin privilege so what i do is file open okay so this one right what i'm going to do is i am going to go to this folder called c colon yes or no here i am going to go to windows yes or no here i'm going to go to system 32 okay here i'm going to go to drivers you can see see you c colon windows system 32 drivers here etc okay please pay attention it is saying asterisk.txt now i am converting it to asterisk.asterisk do you find this file yes or no now i open it okay nice okay see what is happening is 
he has already got some kind of a malware or something injected in his system he has run some uh, movies or uh, some software or something enga neenga sirike unga laptop ku kaiyamaava vendaama okay so what is happening here is please pay attention all of these ips are stored on this particular file called the host file host file enna na when i'm saying ping google.com first what my computer will do is go to the host file and check if google.com entry is there you understand second illiya then what it will do is in the lan network it will do a broadcast packet broadcast na enadhu suryan fm vandu broadcast nu solvanga dd vandu doordarshan vandu they call it broadcast this open to everybody right so i will send a broadcast packet saying hey my ip is this my mac is this if you are google.com what is your ip it will do a broadcast packet like that right if google.com abdin or a system irundichna and the lan la it will respond back to my broadcast packet do you understand what i'm saying first host file second it does a broadcast packet right third it does a primary and secondary dns query adu epo enga paakuradhu thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cyber security